Hey there, networking pros. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between a switch and a router. Now, I know there's a lot of you that already know that difference, but my videos try to cater to both people who are just getting started as well as those who are advanced. So right in front of us, we've got two boxes that look very similar. They're both made by Cisco Linksys, and they both have lights on the front. They both have network ports on the back. So how do you tell the difference well, one of the things is, is that it will probably say the word router somewhere on it. Okay, great. But what does that mean? What does it mean that one is a router and one is a switch? So the real simple definition of a router is that it takes two dissimilar networks and connects the two and provides a routing bridge between the two of them. So imagine I've got an ethernet handoff from my, ether, my cable modem or my DSL modem. When I have one of those modems, I get supplied one IP address. I can take this ethernet cord that's from the modem with that one IP address and plug it into the router. And then what happens is it takes that one IP address and creates a subnet, which allows the router to share that one interconnect, internet connection with several different machines. But conversely, a switch is really just kind of like a port multiplier. All these ports right here are the same. What it does is it takes a another handoff from a router and then creates a bunch of other network connections. But now this is where it gets a little blurry. A lot of today's routers, especially small office and home office, come with switch ports built in, meaning that it's got a place for the network to go in, sometimes labeled wide area network or internet, but it's also got switch ports, meaning that it's both a router and a switch at the same time. However, unless you happen to be in a really small office, Generally, you need more than four switch ports. You need more than four network devices connected to your router. That's where the switch comes in. The switch is like a outlet strip. It takes one connection and gives you a bunch of other ones. But there's no intelligence. I mean, there is such a thing as a smart switch. And they, in fact, they even make switches that have routing capabilities. But for the purposes of this conversation, let's just stick with a dumb switch. So I can take that internet connection that went into the router, take one of the switch ports, add another network cable, and then connect that to the switch. And now I have just taken what was originally four available switch ports on the router and just added another 15 ports to it. All right, so I went from four to roughly 18 ports now. But the switch his only job is just to is just to is to take the packets that come from the router and forward them on to other network devices in the local area network. It can't make that translation between the local area network and the wide area network, the internet. Okay? So the router's job is to take the internet connection and provide a routing bridge between the outside world and the inside world, meaning all your local area network devices, computers and printers and wireless access points. And then finally, you take patch cords that are either connected directly between the computer and the network's switch, or in some cases, if you have a wiring system, they're actually going into a wall outlet, which then goes to a patch panel, which then goes to a switch. So let's recap what happened here. We took an outside internet connection, which was given to us probably from either a DSL modem or a cable modem, or maybe even a T1, which is usually seen more in bigger offices. We went into a router. We came out of the router's switch port. And in order for us to make more switch ports, we went into a 16 port switch. And then out of that 16 port switch, we went into a PC. So basically the difference between a switch and a router is that a router bridges an outside network with an internal network or an outside wide area network with an internal local area network. A switch really just provides additional ports within the same local area network. Hope that helps you out if you've ever wondered about the difference. Thanks so much for watching.